How are y'all doing? I wanted to come on and share what the Lord showed me the other day. I was driving around and um, I kept seeing the number 16 everywhere. And then I heard the Lord say John. And so I looked up John 16. And um, I'm going to read it to you. It says, These things I have spoken to you that you should not be made to stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he offers God's service. And these things will do to you. They will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things I have told you, that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I did not say to you at the beginning because I was with you. I had just been in an argument with my father. where this, That's where I'm living right now. And they think that I need to be getting a job. They keep hounding me. Asking me all these questions I can't answer. And he brought me a flyer from Whataburger. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not I'm not dissing anybody that works at fast food. But I was making $70,000 a year at my last job. And I went through an awakening. And a lot of kind of horrible things happened. But... Um, I haven't had a job in a long time, and um, I was I've been, I was working for DoorDash for like the last six months. My car broke down. Anyways, um, I've been working on growing my relationship with the Lord, and they think it's like I don't know a waste of time. I, I mean. They're Christians, and they, they like that I'm, like, getting closer to God, but, like, all this spiritual stuff that um, is happening to me, like, they don't really believe, like, that, that that's how it is, I guess. They don't understand, like, what I'm trying to do, and they, they, they're like, well, you think, uh, this online ministry is going to make you money. And I'll, and I was like, I never said that. I never said that, but I know I'm not going to go water, work at Whataburger. If I wanted a job job, I would go to a high end restaurant and get me a job waiting tables, but I don't want to work for anybody. I want to be an entrepreneur. And that's why I was driving for DoorDash because you can make your own schedule and um, you can clock in and clock out whenever you want, you know, and you don't have to um, have a preset schedule or anything like that. Because I worked so much. I'm 45 years old and my, at my last job, I worked for seven years, seven days a week without a day off. I didn't go, call in not one day in seven years. And I just... I'd had enough. I had enough of slaving for the machine. I'd had enough of working myself to the bone and not getting anything from it. Like, it's like, where's the money? Where did the money go? I had two kids. I was raising two kids on my own and I was paying for everything myself. Had a car payment, you know, the whole shebang, $1,200 a month rent, trying to give my kids everything they wanted. And it all just came to a screeching halt. Everything just crash and burn. And I wasn't um, seeking the Lord at the time. I wasn't. And um, everything just just fell apart. Every, I mean, and it, it, it more than fell apart. Like my entire life got destroyed. I just, I just let it go and I just let it all fall. I let it all fall. As I couldn't take it anymore. And after that little argument, I was like, I have to go. I cannot, I cannot sit here and argue with you. Um, the Lord led me to John 16. And John 16, um, 
verse 20, it says, Most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come. But as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore, you now have sorrow, but I will see you again and your heart will rejoice and your joy no one will take from you. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Back when Jesus was um, kicking it with the disciples, the Pharisees and Sadducees were the religious law leaders and they thought they knew everything about the Bible, but they couldn't recognize that he was the son of God. And so they were trying to persecute him and they ultimately ended up killing him on the cross and got everybody to, to root and rally for it in the city. And, um, that we can see that playing out. And if this kind of thing is happening to you, um, you'll know what I mean. It's like all the, this, prophecies in the Bible and all the stuff that happened to Jesus is happening to all of us in our lives. Um, and if it hasn't yet, you'll, you'll probably see it happening, but it's so crazy how all the stuff that happened to Jesus starts happening to you. Um, I just want to say that, um, I know that it hurts and it's hard to understand, but, um, it's all spiritual, all of it. It's a spiritual battle that we're in. So don't, um, don't, well, I guess learn to forgive and just pray, pray for everyone because The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. They're mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. No one's going to believe you. No one's going to probably support you. You're set apart. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're different. They're not going to understand you. But it's okay, because God's got you. God's got your back. Just keep seeking Him. Keep believing. Keep having faith that the things that He told you, the things that He has spoken over your life, the prophetic words that you have heard, the words that He spoke to you, that they are real, that it's still happening. He's the promise keeper. It doesn't matter what the world says or what anybody else says. All that matters is what God said. So keep believing. I love you all with the love of Christ. Hang in there. Don't give up. Don't give in. And don't let the plots and plans of the enemy trick you or deter you or make you go off path. Just keep seeking God. Even if, even if you stumble, because it's going to happen, I mean, he's so merciful, just repent and um, get back on track. We serve a good, good father. He will come through. <laughs>